Hey, you know I had the weirdest experience one time. I I had a weird situation in my life once where I was living with my grandmother. And it was just down the street from my parents' house. But we weren't exactly estranged. But I don't know. We were just kind of a little distant, you know. And the thing was, was that I was in between jobs. And what I would do in between working for part-time work and here and there is I would supplement my food bill by going and taking my bicycle to various food shelters. And I would go from my suburban area like five miles in town to the downtown area and hit all the shelters there that seemed to be the main supply of shelters and all the homeless people well I got in the habit of doing this and I don't know I just like to run around on my bicycle and it was kind of good exercise and the thing was was that my tire blew out and I am just like all the way downtown and I am like, oh, no. So I start walking back. I hadn't picked up any groceries at the time. Or handouts or whatever you call it from the food banks. And I got to where I was like just on the edge of the downtown area. Ready to go back into what would be my area but it was still about halfway there because I was about a couple miles into my area from the downtown area and the funny thing was I was walking my bike and here comes a transient man and he had on his bike a big he was walking his bike but his bike worked strange but I mean, I was kind of desperate, and I didn't have any money in my pocket. No, no, I take that back. I did have some money in my pocket, but there was nowhere to get my bike fixed. I had about ten bucks. So, he's walking along with his free cardboard sign on his bicycle. I thought, uh-oh, why would it be free? Why is the transient walking with a bike? Why is he walking? You know, and why would, you know, it's just, it, I knew something was up, you know, but I, I was kind of desperate because my feet were hurting. So, you know, I talked to him and I said, oh, is that bike free? And he goes, yeah, I got it for free. He goes, it said free on it. And I go, oh, okay, you know, it's a nice bike. And the bike was about as good as mine. So, and th this wasn't anything but a junky bikes. I mean, they functioned, but they were older. Oh, five speeds, you know, hand brakes. Um, they were good. They were, they were rideable, you know. So I wasn't complaining. So I said, "Hey, I go. I tell you what, you don't seem to be riding your bike, and you look like you might need some money. I'll give you ten bucks for that bike, if it's okay." And he goes, "Yeah, sure. I'll sell it to you for ten bucks." And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, oh great, is this going to be a stolen bike? Am I going to get arrested? And my feet were pounding, so I'm like, the heck with it. You know, I don't know what's going on with this guy, but how do I know it just isn't his bike? And how do I know he doesn't want to sell his bike for a little money? You know, I don't know what the hell's going on. At this point, I don't care. Let him arrest me, right? And so I buy the bike. You know, we trade off. I mean, you know, I give him the money, he gives me the bike, and it's all good. He walks on his way, right? I'm still suspicious, mind you. But I start walking both the bikes. I sh wasn't thinking about it. I should have just gave him my bike, but I kind of liked it. And I just wanted to get the tire fixed on it because I had it all fixed up the way I wanted it. I knew a guy just down the street from me that owned a bike shop, and he let me choose parts for cheap so I I usually go to him and fix up bikes 
and get the bike I wanted fixed, you know, and I had this one kind of with larger pedals and everything, you know, so it, it was junky, but it rode well, you know, I had it all adjusted right and everything. Well, I get no more than 100 feet, right, and I was just about ready to slap the other bike onto my handlebars of my new bike and try to ride it out. Basically, I was just getting off this busy thoroughfare street and going to make a turn. Well, I got to the point where I was just about ready to go onto a side street and make a turn. And another guy rides up and he goes, hey, that's a nice bike. I go, yeah, I go, some guy just sold it to me. And he goes, mm, no idea where you got it from, huh? And this is just like a guy on a 10-speed, but he's like a tall guy. You know, and I just like, you know, I took one up and down scan of him, and I'm like, cop. You know, I knew a cop. <clears throat> and he go, and I go, he goes, well, hey, why don't you sell that bike to me? I go, all right. And I thought, mm, I'll test this, right? I don't know why I said all right, but. Oh, yeah, first I explained that, well, I'm, my other bike's broke. Do you want to buy this one? He goes, no, I don't want to buy that one. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, something was up. I walked into some kind of police sting or something. I, I, I still don't know, you know, but all the telltale signs were there. So I'm like, hmm, you know. And I go, well, you know, could you buy the blue one because... You know, I need the red one. It works. You know what I mean? And he goes, no, I really want to buy the red one. I go, okay. I go, I looked at him and I go, well, I need to fix this one. 20 bucks. Yeah, I said it. I said, you know, I'm, I'm Scottish enough that I'm like, you know, okay, give me $20. You know, it's my bike. I bought it. And he said to me, and he goes, well, it seems like you paid $10 for it. Don't you think that's what you should get back for it? And how the hell did he know unless he knew that I paid $10 for it? So I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. And he handed me $10 and took the bike and rode off. And I was just like, okay. You know, and I'm still left walking and I got my 10 bucks back. But for the life of me, I just couldn't figure out what the hell... The thing was, was it a sting for someone? Well, it could have been a sting for someone to buy stolen property. I guess I should have known better, but I just, you know, I needed the bike. But was it a thing for to rough up uh, transients or or what? You know, it, it must probably must have been it. But it was just the strangest thing. <laughs> I couldn't figure that one out for the life of me. I don't know. You know, I just, you know, I've, had, I've walked into other things where I've known cops, you know. I was at a payphone, I'm like, this guy's talking on the payphone, yada, yada, yada. You know, and I'm standing there, and then there's a big black tall guy. And then there's this, um, well, she must have been Indian or something, but, you know, they were all three standing there. And one guy, you know, I'm just waiting for the phone, right? And this girl goes, oh, and freaking, she accidentally freaking lets her purse go. Some old looking purse, right? Not the kind of purse a girl would have. And inside was all this money. <laughs> and I'm looking at them, I'm like, oh, wow, that's a lot of money, you know? And, you know, it's just bills inside an old purse. You know, and I'm like, I look at her, I look at this guy, and this is like about a six foot, no, yeah, six foot seven, six foot five black guy, right? I'm looking at her, I'm, you know, I look at both of them, and I'm like, come on, you know? I go, so I said to them, I go, so I guess this guy isn't going to be off the phone for a little while, huh? Ha! <laughs> What the... Jeez, you know, get some acting skills. I mean... 
But I, you know, I don't, I kind of knew what that one was, but I could not for the life of me figure out the freaking bike one. I don't know. Just weird encounters. Uh, anyway. Yeah, and I, I so, if anyone's got any ideas, you know, what that might have been, leave me in the comments below, okay? Where the hell is that? Yeah, comments below, down there, yeah. You know, and go ahead and rate and subscribe and all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anybody know? I, I'm just curious, because it just, it kind of stumped me. I've had other things like that, too. I'll get to those later, alright?